first of all, pleasure being here. Uh, a little bit about uh, my current role. So since around two years, I'm uh, uh, I'm accountable for for in fact transforming our FPNA department globally. So we are touching all levels of the organizations. We we work in markets, uh, regions, and, and and HQ, and this is where we 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 we, we go through our transformation, right? Now today's presentations are about business partnering, and if you if you move to the next next slide, uh, I mean we all want to have more time for business partnering, right? But the the challenges that we're facing, which catalyze our transformation, was that we're all heavily involved in the current work. So there was always a budget to do. There was always some actual clothing, some reporting, etc. And and plus being a global company. Uh, we see that after analyzing, we could get a bigger economy of scale, right? We could do things in a more standardized way, use more technology, and that led us to our transformation program. And if you move to the next one, please, uh, we'll show you the, the pillars of that. So if, if you look at that, these are the components of both processes and technological changes that we're implementing. And we're saying in order to deliver business partnering processes, business partnering services to our customers, we need to take out the burden of process and repetitive work. And we need to equip our, uh, our organization with, with, with the most modern tools that we can. So how we did that? We started with uh, further harmonizing our data models. So here there was uh, already quite a lot of harmonization that we did on the corporate level. But uh, what we did, we, we, we are now putting a common dictionary of, of data, things like account, like cost centers, but also beyond finance, going through channels, customers. And we want to have a, a unique way to define it at any level of the organization. Now, the next building block that we put are the processes for managing costs. So we put here a central process also followed by the central team as part of integrated business services, which is now delivering all cost uh, controlling processes as a service. And it's all leveraged on one integrated tool. We are adding to that also the revenue forecasting and modeling. So it's, it's about having various scenarios of, of revenues, depending on price, depending on volume scenarios. And then together with cost, that gives us the, the entire PNL. Right. And then on top of that, we had balance sheet and cash flow. So thanks to this, we have a full process related services delivered from our integrated business services group. On the right hand side, you also see the consolidation processes. So we are ensuring that they all end up under one, one process, one solution, uh, and that we do things in the same way in, in all locations we have. Now, having the foundation, what we are having and constantly enhancing is the integrated data layer. So here we, we have a, an integrated data warehouse where we put not only financial information, but also some consumer information, commercial information. So then we can connect the dots and perform more analytics uh, uh, reporting, but also beyond that, uh, providing more prescriptive and descriptive analytics to, to our customer which comes on the top. Here we, we deliver a set of standard and ad hoc solutions and uh, also reporting as, as a service. And if you look on the right hand side, what we're also doing in parallel is the integrated business planning, where we are engaging with supply chain and uh, commercial, and we're putting together all the planning processes uh, to ensure that they are managed more jointly for the company. Now, if you move to the next slide, now I, I showed you more the process and, 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 and tools transformation, but what we are transforming as well is our organization model. So if you look on the top, that was our original traditional way of working. So we had market region and uh, central functions, which were both delivering business partnering uh, services to our customers, but also running through processes. Now, thanks to the, uh, the technology and also to the automation and the new team that we introduced on the bottom, which is IBS, or Center of Expertise, we're taking out these repetitive processes from the, the ones above, and we are creating dedicated teams managing both costs, balance sheets, 
the whole PNL reporting analytics and also running the data and, and, and governance uh, to the organization. And we see that has various advantages that helps us streamline and standardize the processes, leverage on the economy of scale. And then the, the biggest advantage I see is really taking out the burden of, of, of our frontline, which are business partners. So we are literally freeing up their calendars. We're making them more available. We're making them there as co-pilots, as we say, with the business to, to help, to advise, to run scenarios and uh, to be there when, when we are needed, right? And then we, thanks to that, we see that finance becomes more available, finance becomes part of, uh, of, of the business, right? Now, if you move to the, to the next one, uh, the kind of last big component of, of this transformation is, is the approach and the skill sets. Because here we are talking about adopting new faces. So as as business partners or as finance uh, professionals, we take the face of the entrepreneur. We are there to be with the business, to take calculated risks and to, to be there to, to, to manage all the investments jointly, right? We are the strategist as well to connect the dots. We're linking all our projects, all our investment also with the strategies of our company. And, and to ensure that we follow some steps that, that have been commonly agreed. We also act as a challenger. So we are here to defend the value of the company. So we are always challenging if the initiative driven by commercial or other departments is economically viable. Does it make sense? Does it lead us to the strategic direction that, that we have already set? We are the guide. And by, by that, we, we are the partner, we are the storyteller. So we are guiding the business, uh, showing based on the data where, where we would go if we continue uh, acting as we act. And we can also advise where we can go to avoid some obstacles or, or to, to, to seek some opportunities. Now, last but not least is the expertise. I mean, we recognize that as finance, we need to uh, keep the expertise that we have. A lot of these expertise is now being concentrated also in our centers of expertise where we have people specialize in certain processes and the expertise that they gain for a particular geography they can also share it with others but we also remain the expertise in the market where we are close to the business but we're also building new skills such as data sovereignty, such as machine learning such as also using uh, using modern technology now, and, and if we summarize, I mean, you see here the type of services that we, we continue delivering. We predict the change. We see where we're going to go and what it would mean for the business. We are there to support our strategies. Uh, we are there to manage our investments, our projects. We ensure that we have right ROI. Uh, competitive intelligence was always at the heart of, of our work. And this is something we continue doing with support of teams and technology. Uh, in terms of planning, we don't only look at short term. This is also the long term horizon planning the next couple of years where we're going to head in terms of uh, new products, new services and, and, and finance. Finally, the business performance review, which is always at the heart of our of our functions. We're checking where we are leading, going as a business, where we end up. So. I hope during this couple of minutes I managed to share with you our transformation. I'll be happy to answer your questions and also to follow up later on on LinkedIn. Thank you very much. Thank you.